Hello and welcome to Face Check. You're joining me for a special edition where uh, I'm joined by Wolfie from The Winning Agenda, all the way from Australia. Um, we're going to be playing a game where you can see both sides uh, of the game. Uh, this is our third game. Uh, good luck again. First time uh, variants got the better of us, second time my software crashed and so hopefully this time we'll get ourselves a, a decent game. Um, so this is going to be set up that we have um, me playing from the runner side, Apex, and, and Wolfie running from the corp side, this is Blue Sun there. Um, I'm going to mulligan this hand. Now this Apex deck is slightly different if you've seen the, the other video. The uh, difference primarily being the inclusion of two nerve agents, three demo runs, and a, a clone chip instead of account siphons. Now, that might be probably a good idea against Blue Sun, was a, a general thing that I did. Uh, but this leads to plays where you can uh, stock up on nerve agent um, and demolish their hand um, during a, an apocalypse run. Uh, housekeeping, interesting. Um, I will install Prey, because it's not too likely to do anything here. Oh, does that trigger it? Oh well, uh, I guess I have to choose a card to trash. Fair enough. Well, in that case, let me do this. Then let me also install... No, I don't need to, because I can dump that next time. Well, let's run R&D. Successful run, curtain wall, nobody cares, and then I will money up. Okay, so I need to get rid of that, which is fine, because I've got my own uh, currents. Um, yeah, so the, the this will be a particularly useful uh, kind of learning experience for a beginner, perhaps. You can see what's happening on, on one side with the corp and what's happening on the other side with the runner. Uh, Real-time commentary, uh, you can see how we adapt to each other's plays, uh, what's going on with, uh, y you know, what uh, what's that? Curtain wall. I can bust curtain wall. I even might bust curtain wall. If I dropped you, you, do I have enough clicks? One, two, three, no, I don't. That's slightly annoying, but uh, I will cope. He's just going to bounce that to hand next turn. Uh, let's start turn. Uh, I'm not installing anything. Draw. Get rid of you. Put you up. And then... Actually, I guess I could have, because you can always trash Endless Hunger to itself, but it doesn't seem worth it at this point. I'm going to gain a credit. Uh, just gaining money in preparation for equality time. Then I'm going to have uh, seven cards, so I'll need to try and play two if I can. Including possibly Nerve Agent, uh, but I need to find Heartbeat to have the MU first. So let's see how that works out for me. Uh, so here, um, not got a dream set up. Uh, did a mulligan? I think I did. Had lots of uh, sure gambles to start with. Uh, not installing anything. Do this. Get you. Drop you. And again, gain a credit. So I can now bust the curtain wall without too much difficulty. Uh, one, two. Uh, Harbinger trashing twice. So uh, get through all three subs with that. If I install something face down as well, I'll be able to get the apocalypse off. But let's just hold on with that for for the time being. Now I should run and trash a Jackson. I'll do that next turn, or maybe I'll run on archives to see what's going on. Ideally, I'd like to see him set up a, a few more cards to make the apocalypse worthwhile. Um, no, that's fine. What might that be? So it could be a pad campaign, a uh, possibility. Let me draw Ghost Runner. I can always sack that off later. Run. I better keep him honest. 
I'll run server 2 then I'll run server 1 private contract so he's already got loads of money so whatever and then run server 1 probably bring back housekeeping oversight AI and a he's let me trash it he must have another one in hand I can use a couple of ghost runner credits it's not the worst um, unless I'm staring down the barrel of a sea source scorch scorch at this point which is a possibility I need to go digging for heartbeat but ideally I like that in hand for after an apocalypse Uh, nope, nothing. Draw. Harbinger. Draw. Harbinger. Okay, right, I can now break through any Ender and subroutines that exist anywhere. So I'm going to... I don't want Apocalypse just yet. How very annoying. Now the problem with Endless Hunger is it's 4MU, which is like all your MU. Um, and without a heartbeat you can't install any other programs that aren't 0MU done, let's draw heartbeat then let's put some pressure on no let's not put some pressure on let's just gain a couple of credits so next turn I'm going to drop nerve agent and then I'll run 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 I really want a demo run before I do that but we'll see how it goes uh, so demolition run lets you trash any cards that you access for free. Uh, they, they don't have to be trashable. You know, they just have to be something that you access. So it could be ice, could be operations, could be anything. Can I zoom in a little here? Would that make things a little better? There you go. Perhaps see uh, a bit more what's going on. Of course, as uh, Wolfie installs some more ice, I'll, I'll have to zoom out again. Now, the last two games that we played, I was in a much better position at this stage. Um, struggling a little here. I really want him to install more stuff to make the, the apocalypse worthwhile. If he starts keeping things in hand, then I'll probably take advantage with the nerve agent. Um, I want to draw up, find... A demolition run maybe make just a quick poke into HQ so I don't need anything there draw so now I've got a demolition run so now I'm set up for some of this so HQ I'm assuming he's got like kill cards in hand I don't know what his tagging option is but at this point I can avoid 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 thingies um, well, that's going to fire. Um, okay, and then let's just prevent one, two, three. Done. And then trace four. So you can get rid of this, which would be annoying, but what I really need to see here now is a an agenda. Um, if I get an agenda, I can crack an away assassin, and then I've got free reign on HQ. Eight, so nothing I can do about that. Um, yep, okay. So I don't know if he's going to choose to trash this or nerve agent. Probably nerve agent, I guess, but... Both are a valid choice. No, okay, so I'm really looking for... I really need an agenda here. Even if it's just a one-pointer. That will do. And then crack in HQ. Boom. And then next time, I'll just run, run, run. And then blow up his entire hand, hopefully. I can always install another Endless Hunger, and I do have a clone chip, so that's not the end of the world for me. I 
imagine he's going to install some sort of ice. Yeah. I should maybe have a poke at it before I do too much. Um, done. If he's got another program trasher, could be in trouble. Okay, so let's run. Nah, I reckon that's an end of the run sub. Run HQ. I reckon he thinks he can keep me out. Pay two. Okay, well. Let's bust the end of the run. Take a ghost runner credit. One, two. Continue. Is he a card from hand? Yes, I will have you. Thank you very much. Card from hand. Scorched Earth. That's not quite so good. Then. Let's go into panic mode. Let's go crack in HQ again. That way he can't bounce the ice, doesn't get the credits back, not that he needs money. Um, and then let's just see everything that he's got in hand. So run HQ. And then all I need to do is money up and I'll be able to, to take all that out of hand next turn if possible. Oof. He's gone for the big agendas but they're all there. Okay. So Taurus is the only ice he's got if he doesn't draw into anything. Then I will um, wipe out his whole hand. Like Taurus will get rid of Heartbeat, which he wants, but what he won't realise is that I'm also going to get rid of his uh, Scorched Earths. So he kind of has to go digging for ice. Taurus only gets rid of Hardware. I'll cope. Yeah, that's fine. So probably, let's see what he does, okay, so, um, no, that's fine, if there's another data bike, I'm in trouble though, so let's, let's draw up, let's wait a turn, give him a chance to hang himself there, I'm going to Dirty Laundry Archives and just, just money up here, I can still survive the Sea Source Scorch Scorch. So I'm not in too much trouble. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, Trixie Hobbitsies. Nope. I'm going to... Do I think I can get in is the question. Is it another assassin? Ah, oh, tough one. Ah, YOLO. Right, then we'll run HQ. So I can access all these cars and trash them. But let's see what these are. Ideally, I'll be able to get through. Yeah, thought as much. Uh, I can't do anything about that. He will trash the nerve agent, so I'm only going to see one card. Um prevent any of the three damage yeah it's a shame he found that assassin one two three done and then let's hope it's not another one uh, yeah that's fine trash Something he's got a trash nerve agent here because otherwise he's wiping out his whole hand. Unless he thinks he can stop me. If there's two end run, no three end rubs. So, bleh, that's a curtain wall. Then I can't do anything. And I know he's got a curtain wall somewhere. He's having a good think about it. If he doesn't need the cards in his hand, he might not be so bothered. Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a curtain wall. Yeah, that's that was the choice. Uh, if that is a curtain wall, I can't bust it is the problem. Yep. 
paid for it now. Taurus, yeah, fires. So that is also the end of Heartbeat. Like, if that's literally anything other than a ice wall, can't do much. Ugh. Well, if nothing else, if he raises the curtain wall here, he can only... Uh, oh yeah. Forgot what I was doing. Thanks. Yeah. That's so annoying. Because I could have apocalypsed and still been in a very good position. Right, let's um, draw, draw, end turn. So now I am in a little bit of trouble, I guess. Um, next turn I'll draw, draw, lucky find. There's only one heartbeat in here so far. Mm, cheeky. Uh, done. Let's draw. Draw. Lucky find for money. Do. Okay, so at least I can get through here now if I wanted. But I need a lot more money than that to, to do much. So what is this? Oh, an overscored atlas. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, I'm going to install Crypto Space down. And then I'm going to draw, draw, draw. I wonder what that is. Just gain a credit. Okay, so if I eat all three of this net damage. Ooh, unless he puts something else back out. Yeah, I'm in a little bit more trouble. Even though I'm on five points, which is a pretty good number of points to be on. I perhaps should have tried and contested that uh, remote. If I can find a clone chip, I can bring back Nerve Agent. I have nothing to deal with big ice. Um, curtain wall is not a problem. I can get through that easy enough. I don't necessarily want to install anything this turn, but I've no open remotes to, to dirty laundry and money up. I don't really know what's in his hand, so that's how he's going to land the tag. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to. So let's drop. Let's drop the Kraken. Losing the dirty laundry. Let's run on archives and get. If he doesn't raise archives, then I'll get the apocalypse off. And if I can make him spend the money here, then I'll have a better chance of getting in there anyway. So let's see what happens. Uh, right. Successful run. Fine. Run r and &D. I think he'll just suddenly twig what's coming. And then this hunger can trash to itself. Uh, and the end of the run still is broken. Oh. GG. I was just about to, uh, was about to apocalypse. Um, yeah, then with Dirty Laundry HQ, 
and Apocalypsed. Um, well, so far the deck's not given me any problems. All three of the games we've played, even when I've been in a bad position, I've kind of managed to, to come back. Um, yeah, I would have been dead had I, I not won then. Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, well within. Dirty Laundry HQ. And then, boom, goes a dynamite. So, yeah, maybe just... Uh, close game again. Um, hopefully, I, I don't know what Wealthy's side looks like, of what things he's been talking you through are. My deck kind of, uh, you know, it's got one strategy. Uh, it's very difficult for it to overcome many different types of ice. Um, the... Uh, other breakers like the the overmines and uh, crypsis um, are are there to to get around those types of ice. But Wayland's got a problem where a lot of its ice is in the run. Um, I don't run E3 feedback filters uh, to to get around things that have in the run and something else because that's just something else that's going to be turned uh, face down afterwards. But uh, thanks for the game. And uh, we'll put this up and hopefully you guys will can watch it and get something out of it. Uh, until next time, uh, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment and also head over to the winning agenda. Like, subscribe to them. Uh, they've got a lot of good content out there. They've also got a podcast uh, and I just started a podcast the other evening. So I'll leave a, a link for that in the comment as well. So, signing out. <laughs>